Hello and welcome, and this will be a quick update on what's going on. So far with this, guys, you can tell I've put my foamless tires into it to see if it would crawl slightly better. It does. With these tires, as you can tell, I changed the foam in it for two reasons. One, there's absolutely uh, no giving these tires with the stock foam. It was hard as a rock. But considering they didn't put the speed of this truck on the box for this one. The other versions of it, they kind of do, I believe. And I believe it's supposed to be a 30 mile an hour truck in high gear, which is what this is locked into right now. So I'm assuming the hard foam is for the high speed. But considering as how when I'm doing high speed, I'm not going to be bashing into curbs or anything. I don't think I need foam like this, which if you look, you'll notice there's indentations in the foam. And I took this foam out early yesterday. And it's still holding as if sup as if it was a super memory foam. Uh, saw a video where a guy was also talking about this and said that there is a fix for it because lots of people's tires have had bins in them or a flat spot from where the truck sat in the box for so long, which mine had that. But not only did it have a flat spot in the foam as well, I also had the guy didn't put the foam in very nicely. So if you can see right here how far off my foam was sitting inside the tire that's nothing but wobble and especially when you start talking 30 miles an hour that's gonna really be a big difference in how the truck's gonna handle off-road or on-road it really wouldn't matter that bounce and wobble does start to affect the ride so i took it out went with no foam it's actually really great i liked it um will be great for the crawls when I get the two speed in or put this uh, 55 turn motor in. It should make that really great for crawling and I won't have to worry about smashing in the gears. These ones I just took the foam out of the barrages tires and I put the barrage foam into these guys and it worked very nicely. It's still pretty firm so it's not like I'm going to even if I am in high speed, I'm not going to run up and hit something and smash into my plastic rim and destroy it because it's still a very thick foam. It's just not a stiff memory foam substance. It's really not memory foam, but it sure feels like, I mean, it just holds and doesn't pop out. And now for the piece of resistance. The mail came and my new drive, or my new gearbox is came in for the barrage um the video for this popping in probably will not be nearly as quick as my fat or er, as my other mods mainly i was asked to instead of just verbally explain what i did and pointing what i did to actually just do the build and show the whole build from beginning to end so I'll be doing that with this and going back and doing the how to put a full size servo into your barrage as well because he asked for that so that will be another bonus video on top of that video as well as I will be taking this truck apart to get into the front diff all the diffs and because I haven't ran it through the water yet I will be watering everything up with this stuff right here which is a high temperature water resistant all weather so cold hot water dirt well probably not the dirt because it is a grease so it would stick dirt to it but gonna go through my whole truck and tighten it all up so that way when I do decide if I'm going to go through water or not, mainly because it's a soft lipo pack. And I'm not 100% sure that that is a waterproof item. Everything else in the truck is waterproof and the truck itself is water resistant. So I'm going to go and proof up my truck a little bit more. So instead of resisting, it will actually hold up when it goes bogging through the water. Um, thank you for watching. And unfortunately, there probably will not be much video due to the fact of all the little things I'll be doing. But looking forward to getting this out somewhere very nice to drive instead of a field 
or just the testing rocks. Um, get it out on a trail after I do a little bit of tinkering with it. So see how it handles mostly stock. Once again, thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed.